Hey guys, in today's video I will show you some technical information on how to integrate your Xiaomi robot vacuum with Home Assistant. If you're interested, keep on watching. But first, if you're new to the channel, my name is Laszlo Marcel and this channel deals with home automation, home networking and occasionally with related stuff like DIY electronics and even a little bit of 3D printing. Anyway, let's continue with today's topic. Before we go to the tutorial part, let's start with the real deal. So this solution is 100% cloud free and that means you will be able to disable your vacuum from accessing the internet or from being accessed from the internet like I did. This diagram I've uh, quickly made shows you both ways you can actually control your uh, Xiaomi vacuum. So you can do the intended way, that's how uh, Xiaomi has designed it. So you can use their application and their cloud services to control it. And of course with this tutorial you will be able to use Home Assistant and uh, use Home Assistant's own phone application as a replacement. Luckily for you, you don't need to choose, you can use both ways. But again, you are able to just rely on Home Assistant and actually and disable cloud access for your vacuum. If your wireless router makes it possible, you can just disable internet connection for the vacuum altogether. Obviously that means you won't be able to use the uh, Mi Home application provided by Xiaomi anymore to control the vacuum. But then again, we have Home Assistant, so it should not be a problem. However, as I mentioned, this is totally optional and you can use even two applications at the same time. Before proceeding, I must warn you that uh, when we are relying on Home Assistant and uh, Home Assistant application, you might lose some features like, uh, for example, having that fancy map in the application where you can just uh, use your hand to draw virtual walls uh, for the vacuum to do not cross and to restrict it to some areas. This is currently not possible with this integration or at least I don't know a way about uh, making it work. Okay, so before starting the actual tutorial part, there's one more thing you need to understand. And this is the concept of this token. So the token is like a string, a hexadecimal string, a unique identifier for your device that gets, that, uh, gets created uh, during the first setup of the device, which means you obviously have to use the phone application at least once when you unpack your device, when you turn it in the first time. Uh, this time you will register your device to your Xiaomi account and then this token will be created. Now this token for us is very important because uh, this is used to control the device. This, this knowledge of the token means that uh, you are authorized to control the device and because of this you will have to enter this token into your home assistant configuration as well. Because of this, the whole uh, process starts at doing the normal thing, like unpacking your device, then using the Mi Home application to register it. This is like the standard procedure uh, documented and, and uh, given to you by Xiaomi. And uh, whenever you are done with your registration, and you are able to uh, control the device via your uh, smartphone, then we can start with the actual integration into Home Assistant. So let's get to it. So as I briefly mentioned, we will need this token for uh, communicating with the device. Just like in the case of the cloud communication, it is also required from Home Assistant to have, it, have this information at uh, our disposal. So we will need to extract it uh, from Xiaomi's cloud and by extracting, yeah, I mean downloading it. So for that, you will need a tool which is called a Xiaomi Cloud Token Extractor. So this tool is open source, written in Python. You can check out its source code uh, if you are uh, interested how it works. And uh, to be honest, for the first time, I was like, uh, this requires me to provide my Xiaomi username and password. That, that is not something you really like to do, to give your username and password that belongs to a cloud service. And then you just provide it to some third party software. But then again, luckily, luckily for us, this is free software. Uh, also, if you want to go super paranoid, you can just uh, change your password temporarily 
use this software it takes like two seconds and then change the password instantly back so Xiaomi for, provides a nice uh, and convenient interface for it so it should not be a problem but then again as far as my Python knowledge goes I check this software and it looks safe and also if you're not familiar with the author well he seems to be a respected member of the Home Assistant community with a lot of uh, uh, repositories and, and uh, tools uh, released on GitHub so I would say yeah you can trust this piece of software but then again if you feel so do your own investigation anyway it worked for me so in my case I was using Windows I, would, I just uh, downloaded this exe file this is like a command line tool you start it it will ask for your username your password and your Xiaomi server region uh, which uh, will probably also China mainland uh, in your case uh, this is what uh, usually works with uh, robot vacuums bought from Banggood or Gearbest or whatever so this is all this is all that you need and you will end up with the list of your registered uh, Xiaomi devices and uh, along with the tokens so the token is just a string you need to copy it from there and then you will uh, be able to go to the next step, which is uh, the actual Home Assistant integration. You add the integration the usual way. So you just go to configuration, then integrations, and then add integration. So the integration you are looking for is called MyIO, as in Xiaomi MyIO. So this is what you need to add. And this will also ask for your uh, Xiaomi Cloud username and password or alternatively you can configure the token directly since i decided to instantly uh, change my use my uh, password after uh, extracting the token and i just want my uh, xiaomi account to be left alone i decided to go with the token instead and uh, this way i didn't have to provide my username and password here so this is just like this configure manually then you click submit and this is the IP address of your device and uh, the robot vacuum I mean and uh, here you provide that token so the IP address is a tricky thing because uh, it can change uh, once your device has been uh, registered and started up for the first time you will uh, uh, see an uh, assigned IP address on your router and uh, you can just uh, use your router's configuration to have that uh, IP address permanently assigned uh, to the uh, vacuum. I'm telling you this because uh, normally in case of network devices you can um, provide something like uh, a static IP configuration or something like that but the vacuum is uh, DHCP only so we, you will have to configure the static assignment on your router you cannot open like a magic, uh, I don't know, configuration page or API or whatever of the robot vacuum and tell it to use a specific IP address. Anyway, once you have your IP address and token here, you can just click submit and you will end up with a device and an entity in, uh, as part of your integration. So actually, if you go to your device, uh, its name will depend on um, what uh, your actual uh, Xiaomi model is and then uh, you will be able to use this in your normal automation process in Lovelace or whatever so when it comes to Lovelace there's one more thing you need to do because uh, out of the box Home Assistant uh, doesn't really support um, these uh, vacuums via um, a card or something like that so you can uh, actually rely on, on the info you can uh, fetch from the device slash entity but uh, yeah a custom card would be nice and luckily for us there is a custom card so it's also a github project that you will be able to use with uh, easily with home assistant and it provides you this nice little card 
where you can see various uh, informations about the actual vacuum and you can start it uh, and, and even uh, have this uh, self-location tri entry triggered where, he can where uh, it can just uh, ping here I am or something like that. So if you lost it somewhere in your house. To have this custom card you have to set up a home assistant community store but once you have that your job is quite easy. So even though the documentation says something about the plugins tab there's no such thing currently in the home assistant community store but you have to go to front end and uh, you will have to go to explore and add repositories. Now I already have this repository so just uninstalling it quickly. And now I can find it here. So I'll just search for vacuum and this is the vacuum card. Okay, this is the information, what it is and so on. And you just need to click install this repository in your home assistant community store. So you select the latest version, then click install once again. And uh, home assistant will ask you to have the browser reload this page. So do that. And now you have it installed. To see the card in action, you just need to configure it on the Lovelace UI. So I go to my UI, I created a new empty view just for this, and uh, I'm uh, editing the dashboard so I can add the card. Now I scroll down to the bottom and my custom card is here. So I'm just selecting this. Uh, this is the image you could you see on the GitHub page of the custom card. The main point is to you must select the entity here that is configured my, by the MIO, M -I -I -O, uh, whatever it's called, um, integration. So by default it auto selected because it's a single vacuum that I have configured. And now I can mess around with like these options and uh, I can even change the background image but I didn't re really want to do that. Uh, another entity can, that can be selected is uh, like a camera. Uh, my model doesn't have one. Because of that I will just leave it empty. Now with all these settings I click save and here's my card. So this actually shows the status of the vacuum and I can instantly use the functionality. So just let me close the editor and I can click the card so I can start cleaning, uh, set the fan speed and so on. Actually I think this is a bug in the custom card or maybe in the integration, not sure, but this 102 is like an integer constant for the actual fan speed. So if you go here you can see that if I select turbo, it says turbo, otherwise all are numbers. So this seems like a bug. Uh, this was working like, actually sometimes it doesn't even work for turbo. Anyway, it's been working for a while. Now it's not working. I expect this to be fixed soon. Anyway, anyway it's just a minor inconvenience. So this is how it works. and. Uh, yeah, this is it. Uh, also one thing I want to show, this is totally optional, is that uh, the card looks a little bit differently on my uh, own uh, setup. And that's because uh, I used another add-on, another front-end um, add-on from the community store that enables you to recolor your cards. So if I go back to Home Assistant Community Store and then front end, you can see this one is called Card Mod. You can install it from here the way I uh, installed the vacuum card. And this one enables you to use CSS styles on the uh, Lovelace card. Now to do that, I can just show you what I did with mine. So I go here and then Edit Dashboard. And this one, and if I go to the code editor, you can see I have this extra. This is a functionality coming from that card mod um, plugin or whatever should I call it. And this enables me to change the background color. 
but then again this is totally optional okay so whether you decide to go with the default look or change it it's totally up to you but this way we have our vacuum configured and ready to be used from home assistant so as you saw with a few easy steps we managed to connect our xiaomi robot vacuum with the home assistant and managed to control it and monitor it how cool is that right now i'm not promising you that it will work for every model but uh, according to the developers of the integrations it should work with many models so it should work a shot anyway uh, time to close this video and i really hope that uh, it was useful for you and if you haven't subscribed to the channel please consider subscribing i promise it will be worth it and yeah i hope to see you next time next week with another video bye